Hey guys, Chaps here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 Years of Gears announcement that just came out. For those who don't know, coming up real soon is the 10th anniversary of Gears of War. In celebration, the Coalition has quite a few goodies in store for us. First up, Carmine time. Have you seen Gary Carmine before? Sure you have, but you may have not known it. Gary is the outsider Carmine that we saw in campaign. Oh, and our old buddy and ex tacom member Parasidian posted a nice Gary costume for Halloween. Starting on November 7th, we'll be seeing the 10th anniversary Gears packs available for 200 credits in-game. That's pretty cheap, and I can't wait to buy a bunch of them. Each pack is going to contain one of the special customization items, being either a character or weapon skin, one of the special emblems or bounties, and one random card from the launch series. There's only one possible character to earn, which is going to be Gary Carmine. Personally, I'm curious as to why the other Carmines aren't available. I'm guessing that they're just going to be DLC down the line. Next up, there's three different Carmine weapon skins. There's Anthony Carmine Longshot, the Ben Carmine Nasher, and a Clayton Lancer. There's also five different 10 Years of Gears weapon skins. You can get the Lancer, Hammer Burst, Retro, Marksa, and the Enforcer. Lastly, there's a couple emblems and bounties that you can get. There's a Gary Carmine emblem and a 10 Years of Gears emblem. In addition, there's five different bounties covering both Versus and Horde mode. Next up, we have some special events coming our way. One Shot, One Kill will be returning, but this time with M bars placed on the map. And we're going to be getting a Nasher's only version of King of the Hill. It hasn't been stated when these will be available or for how long, so be sure to hop in these when you can. The Coalition is also going to be hosting various contests and a game with developer session coming up very shortly. Details about these events have yet to be announced, so stay on the lookout for more information. This is all some great news, I'm really happy with the announcements. The Carmine pack seems like it's handled well, and the upcoming event should prove to be a more engaging experience between the community and the developers. Let's hope that this is just the beginning of some great stuff to come. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Nice, short, and sweet, and to the point. As always, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the events and packs? Be sure to let us know below. I'll catch you guys later. And until next time, thanks for watching.